Hi guys, I am here to do my May favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with makeup. I brush. bought these brushes probably about three months ago, and I didn't haul them because I used them like as soon as I got them. But um, here we go. These are some of the crown brushes that I got. I got this from Halt Look, and there was a 10 piece set on Halt Look for $39. And if I'm not mistaken, I did hear that these are supposed to be Sigma dupes or something like that. And they're really they're they're really nice and they're really soft and they're really sturdy. I haven't had any shedding or anything like that. And I do enjoy using these brushes. And um they crown brushes is on halt look today or starting today. So if you are interested in getting some brushes today would be or well between day and I think like Monday I think that's when it ends or either Sunday but you might want to check today so don't quote me about what day it is but um yeah so they don't have the 10 piece set that I bought um they have the 7 piece set which is pretty much they're the same brushes it's just missing 3 brushes and, and the this brush is the roll. brush roll that it comes with the other brushes that I'm loving is the real technique brushes and these are some of well this is not a real technique brush let's take that out um <laughs> i didn't even know i picked that up but this is i think there's another brush that goes with this but i it's probably not where i'm sitting so these are the core set it's either four brushes or five brushes i can't remember but i'm sure i will annotate it in this video and this is the core set and then i also have the eye set which this is some of the eye set this is the crease the left crease brush this is the shade the shadow brush and then this is the brow brush which I said in my haul video that I would not use this but I did actually use this on my brows and I actually liked it so um, I didn't use it today because I picked up a different brush but I will use it in the future so if you have not tried the Real Technique brushes or the Crown brushes, you should definitely try them. Um, they are great quality for a uh, great Next price. is going to be mascara. My favorite mascara is the Revlon Custom Eyes. Where is it? There we go. Uh, mascara, and I hope you can see that. Um, and I really like this, and... I think this is discontinued and it's amazing how I always like something that is discontinued. I bought this at the CVS um, clearance sale, not the one that just started, but the one in the winter. So, um, and I just started using this like last month or something and then I started liking it and of course now, um, I do have one more, but I want to see if I can find it somewhere. Cause I do like it and there's two levels if you can see they're on the dial there's a number two right here and then over here is a number one so you can choose between which one number two is la length and definition and number one is length and drama and I have it on number one so that explains why I have length and drama as far as okay. concealers go i am loving the ruby kisses 3d face creators um i have level 10 and then i have a level 11 level 11 and this one i'm using level 11 right now so this is the one i'm using i'm using the lighter one to highlight under my eyes um i was using 10 but i am a little bit darker than I am in the winter so um, I decided to as you can see I have well there's hair in there which is really nice but I have hit pan in that on the 10 side so um, I do like this it's great coverage especially for me I have really dark circles so it gives you that coverage that you need and um, it does last if you you know you prep your face um, properly it will last um, 
Then for blushes, it's the Black Radiance blushes. And this one is in Raspberry. Yeah, I can get it open. This one's in Raspberry. And I also have it in Warmberry. And these are really pigmented. I mean, you, if you put, you tap your brush too hard on this and you put it on your face, you're gonna have a lot of blush on. So you can be very light-handed. Because if you're not, you're gonna have overdone blush. Not unless that's the look that you're going for. And see how I just wiped that barely? That's how it's gonna look on your face if you use your brush too hard. So these are definitely good. And I don't I think they're like $2.99 or something like that. They don't cost very much. Um then again, this is another favorite. This is my L'Oreal True Match Powder in C7. I was watching a YouTube video by C. Key, and she was using this on her face, and she was saying it was a dupe for Mac MSF, which I do not have a Mac MSF, but um, I figured I would try it, and then maybe I'll upgrade to a Mac MSF one day. Um, but I really like this, and it I have no complaints about it. It does what it's supposed to do, and I like the way it works. Um, then we're going to go into powders. I use Ben Nye and I use Sienna. And I mix them together to set my highlights. Um, I just started doing it like two weeks ago, I think it was. Yeah, because banana, banana's beautiful. But banana doesn't, you know, sometimes banana can be a little pow. And um, on my, like, my natural days, it doesn't really matter. Like today, I guess you can say this is more of my natural day. So I like to mix it. If I'm going out somewhere or I want to be extra, which there's nothing wrong with being extra, then I probably would use B, um, B, I'm going to say Bianna. Um, um, banana by itself. So I like to mix the two together and that way I use uh, this one because I don't use this on to set my face. I only use this to set my highlights under my eye and that's pretty much the only time it gets used so and you know this is a lot of powder so um, since I'm on a makeup challenge which um, if you want to know more about the makeup challenge I would do a video on it if you would like to know about it but since I'm on a makeup challenge my makeup has been used more on a regular basis All right, primers, Monistat, Chafing Gel. I like Great to mix primer. it with this right here, which this is a huge bottle of uh, Milk of Magnesia. Um, I got it from Walmart, but this, these two right here in the summer, you need these so your face will last all day long. I got the big one because this one was cheaper than buying the um, Philips one. At Walmart so I was like what the heck I mean you can never have none of this and I will be using it on clients so you can never have enough milk and magnesia All right. next is going to be the Maybelline high shine sensational glow I don't know it's a long name for these but um, these are the set of the limited edition and I believe these are the spring ones because they also now have summer ones but i believe these are the spring ones and this one is um mirrored plum and this one is knockout pearl and these are the ones that i have been using lately i when i go to work i usually wear this one or i wear a um my lip balm or a clear or nude or something like that because i do wear a loud green shirt that's part of my uniform and I don't want to wear anything to kind of contradict or clash with the green until I really pay more attention to what I wear on my lips to go with my shirt so I usually wear this but then 
I really like this. I really like this. Um, this is really pretty. It goes really good with Viva Nikki 2, which if you don't have Viva Nikki 2, that's what Viva Nikki 2 looks like. It's, oh, I'm sure you've seen it before. This is like a, a lavender or a very pale, you know, like lavender, not lavender, lilac color. And I like to wear those two together, which I just dropped it. Um, but because it it doesn't make it as loud, because I just don't think that I personally can wear Viva Nikki 2 by itself. And I don't like the way it looks with a liner. It's just that. So about. next is a hair product, which is the Hair Repair Nourishing Conditioner. This right here is one of my favorite conditioners or deep conditioners and I was using the other one by Organic Root Similar which is the replenishing one but I love this one way way better than the uh, replenishing uh, conditioner. I really wish this came in a bottle but since it doesn't I usually buy it in bulk and I really love how it makes my hair feel. I leave it, I put it on Wash my hair, shampoo my hair, put this on, leave it on all night, and then um, I'll rinse it off in the morning. If or if I'm like, I know I'm like working out first thing in the morning, then I will definitely leave it on and let it while I'm working out, let it penetrate more as you know the sweat and the heat, you know, and then rinse it out. And my hair is so soft with this right here, so this is definitely worth trying right here. And then, last but not least, is my fragrance of the month. And this is the fragrance I got from Dots. And I will put a link to the haul video right here and in the description box. Because um, this right here smells so good. Um, these are, this one's not an impression of anything. It's just a Dots brand perfume. But, I'm going to smell it. It's a floral scent, but it's not really strong floral scent and it just smells so good I just love the way it smells and it does have good lasting power it, it, it does last to the point where you can still smell it you know several hours after you have sprayed it and I think this is it, I, it's either five dollars or six dollars I can't remember but you know it's not that you know that high or anything like that and it's got a cute little bottle so that's my May favorite. So um, you can tell me what your May favorites are below in the comment section. Or if you have a video that you have made with your May favorites, I will definitely watch it and then accept it as a video response. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.